Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so we're going to talk about the dot com secrets book in the trilogy I don't know if you've seen this obviously you've seen it if you've been following me any length of time you know that I'm a big fan of Russell Brunson today we're going to talk about the dot com secrets book in the trilogy and in the regular the original one you know it's been around for a long time I mean I got the, I got the dot com secrets a long time ago and if you know anything about me you know that I work 12 hours away from my family and this is the dot-com secrets we're going to talk about what's in there why you need to be listening to it why you need to be reading it or listening to the audio and what you're going to learn from it how it affects you in your online business all right but but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so the Secrets Trilogy, the Secrets Trilogy, which is an awesome, awesome uh, series, the Secrets Trilogy by Russell Brunson, has got four different it actually has four books right it's not it's a trilogy but it's got four books so there's the expert secrets the traffic secrets the dot-com secrets and then unlock the secrets that's all part of the trilogy well the unlock secrets is kind of a workbook um, and the, where you can take notes because every single book has got a whole bunch of exercises that you can do that you should be doing and it's uh one of those things that uh, you know you if you don't follow and you don't do the exercises it certainly doesn't help as much as just reading it for me I started with the expert secrets I actually read the well not read but I listened to the audio of the expert secrets first because one of my friends told me hey you know you're trying to do a webinar you're trying to do webinars I have I've read this book or have list, listened to the audio and it's amazing you should definitely get it and I'm like oh okay I'll get it I'll get it and then I started listening to it and I'm like oh my god I basically fell in love with Russell Bunsen he's amazing the way he teaches and what he teaches and the fact that he doesn't 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 hide anything he tells all he says he gives you the the real real you know um he gives you what you need to to succeed online and it's amazing the stuff I learned from from this I mean we're not going to talk about the expert secret or now we're talking about the dot-com secrets and basically uh what is in the dot-com secrets book right so the dot-com secrets was his first book published in 2015 and uh the first ed edition which is this one here the first edition has got uh it's got doesn't have the same number of pages this this edition has got um actually let's just go I should have probably checked that first but the first edition has got 255 pages right 255 right 255 pages in the first edition the second edition has got more a lot more than that second edition has got 300 look at that whoops 387 so 255 to 387 that's a lot more pages right and I know when I listen to the audio I'm, I must have listened to, to this 20 times and when I listen to it and when I listen to this new one because when I ordered the the trilogy I was able to get the audios right away and the audios are like two almost two hours more than the original one <clears throat> so I was like oh wow what's all this right so when I would listen to it I could tell the differences right I don't know I don't remember right now I probably should have taken notes or something but let's just get right into it right so the the secrets uh the dot-com secrets book has gotten a, you know has got a bunch of secrets 20 or so secrets I think it is is it 20 in this one no it's 28 secrets um the then it's got four sections so section number one is sales funnel secrets so we're going to talk about sales funnel secrets uh and then in section number two the funnels in the value ladder so what are the funnels in the value ladder and section three is funnel scripts so the actual text to use in certain things and finally section four building your funnels so in building your funnels he basically gives a, a walkthrough of click funnels right because he's the creator of click funnels so let's dive right in into section one the secret formula so the secret formula is one of the most important things what is the secret formula right the secret formula here let me just show you here I'm right here uh, 
let's see the secret formula where is it I thought I had it right here hold on secret formula is page number 16 let's go to page 16 there we go the secret formula this is the secret formula the secret formula is is who and where right so who is it that you're after and where are they so it talks he talks about congregations he talks about defining uh, your audience defining your attract your um your avatar defining your target market who is it that you're after right the secret is knowing who you're attract you're trying to attract knowing who it is that is out there that you want to you know buy your stuff and it's you know in advertising that's the basics of everything you can't have an ad for beer for example that is meant to uh, that doesn't talk about the things that people who drink beer are interested in right if you try to do that your your ad's not going to work because people are just not going to be connected to it they're not going to feel connected they're not going to feel like you care about them because the beer drinkers have specific I don't, I don't even know right I mean I drink beer sometimes but my point is that whatever it is that the person the typical customer that you want likes is what you have to put in your ad that's how you attract people and same thing with your funnel if you're trying to if you're trying to sell something that has to do with weight loss you want to talk about losing weight you want to talk about the benefits of losing weight what is it that they're going to feel afterwards and healthier better sleep uh, better more patience you know whatever that what how are you affected by uh, the weight loss right that's that's what you got to do right then after that in the the next the next I, uh, the next secret is the hook story and offer so as part of your campaigns when you're trying to build your business online one of the things you got to do is you got to attract people to you right how do you do that that's called personal branding attraction marketing is all about personal branding in the, in this day and age with social media it's all about you know people getting to know like and trust you and how do you get them to know like and trust you you have to have you know you have to be interesting <laughs> you can't you can't be just you know not interesting that's no no but then when we talk about the hook story and offer we're talking about whenever you're producing something online you're not just going to try to pitch them if I look at the hook story and offer right here let's go back to here oh I'm miss I'm missing out no, page 28 oh it's right there so the hook story and offer is basically this so he talks about the hook story whoops right there the hook story and offer right so basically what he's what he's saying is that you don't want to just try to offer somebody something you don't want to send them a message saying hey I just started a new business can you look check this out or hey I just I got this great product can you look at it I'd like your your opinion on it or whatever right don't just send them that make sure create a hook a hook is something that causes curiosities that makes them want to know more that makes them wonder what's going on what are you doing just that's a hook right and in social media we teach that a lot in personal branding attraction marketing where you don't post your product you don't post your company name you just post things that make people wonder what you're doing right so it's that's what's called the hook so you constantly do that and then you have a story <coughs> once they once they're hooked you don't just send them right to the offer you give them a story a story that makes them relate to your product based on the curiosity so for example if you're trying to do a weight loss product you tell them oh my god this is so awesome I'm I'm feeling so much more energy I'm sleeping better this is this is the best thing that happened to me right and then they're going to be like hmm, I wonder what what that's all about so they could reach out to you or maybe they comment on your post or something and you don't just send them the product hey I got it's I'm I'm sleeping better because I'm having these pills every day and here go check it out right no you got to give them a story you got to tell them oh my god you know I used to just I used to be so tired every single afternoon I felt like I needed a nap and the kids were on my nerves all the time and it's it was such a struggle you know I would I try to eat good I would try to be a, be a good a good father I would try to be patient it just was it was really hard I I couldn't really do it. it it I was always struggling and I would get impatient I would get upset at them for the little things at the kids and I just anyways so then one of my friends told me about this they told me that I should probably uh that I should get into 
using this particular product I'm like oh, I don't know I don't know so then I tried it and I got oh my god I got so much better things are so much better now I'm so patient I don't know what I don't know it doesn't make sense really but that's kind of how it, it makes me feel so much better because I sleep better because I I feel better I get more energy I'm more patient so that's basically that's so that's the story then after that if they're still interested then you tell them about your product you don't tell them before the story before the hook before the right you don't give them the offer so that's what the hook story offer is all about all right so the next one is the value ladder as a business you need to have more than one thing to sell right if you have just a single thing to sell it's really really difficult for you to grow a business right it's you you'd always have to constantly get new customers for this one thing and that would be it right there you wouldn't be able to sell them anything else because you don't have anything else to sell you can't you can't try to sell the same thing like if, say for example there's this business I'm I'm I, I thought of getting into that has a hand sanitizer product right you, you know for the COVID right now there's a lot that's a lot lots of people want this hand sanitizer stuff and this business that's all they sell right and you know that's that's okay that's great to have that and to buy that but you know every single month buying more hand sanitizer you're not going to use it up in a month what are you going to do give it to people like that doesn't make sense to me to just have that I want if I get a customer that buys it then great but then what do I do next month or the month after or it's six months down the road if I don't have anything else to give them right so that's what a value ladder is a value ladder is different products that you have uh, over time that you can actually sell to your same customer so you get your customer they buy something then you can offer them the next thing and then you can offer them the next thing it allows you also to have what are called sales funnels with uh with um with uh upsells right so you can have for example a five dollar product and you can say hey by the way I've got this 25 dollar thing that's complements what you just bought so that's a so in your value ladder you define the things you can define like a free thing then you define maybe a five or ten dollar thing then you define maybe a 25 or 50 dollar thing then you define a maybe a hundred or two hundred dollar thing then a five and a thousand maybe then a two thousand or five thousand twenty five thousand all the way to a million if you want right and that allows you to constantly uh, try to tell people about your thing because once they buy one thing they're actually interested in you because they wouldn't have bought it if they didn't at least have a connection right and that's what the value ladder is now we talk about the attractive character the attractive character is such an amazing concept it's actually something that I struggled with that I haven't really really done properly yet because there's also other things that have to do with once you define your attractive character your attractive character first of all can be you it can just be you as in you know the personality has doesn't have to be somebody else but it doesn't have to be you it could be somebody else it could be um some made up person it could be some other um other completely other um personality that you make up but the idea is that this is the person that will be the one that you will communicate as right so in your emails in your posts everything you communicate as that person and what is the attractive character basically he talks about that in this book he talks about the elements the identity and the storylines he talks about these three different aspects of the attractive character if you're trying to define your attractive character this helps a lot so you can have a backstory what's your backstory you know you started up you know I was a kid I had a computer when I was like eight um, 16 I had my first computer my father bought me a computer for graduation in high school and so I've always been in computers and I'm a geek and I learn all these things and today I have a job in computers and I really like it and even online I'm building a platform right so that's a backstory right I've been into network marketing I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur I started an MLM in 1992 or something I was in the same company for like six years I went to all these events I did all these things it was awesome it was great to get to connect and learn know people and be around people that have the same mindset but I just lost the interest of network marketing because it seemed to be a constant battle to get people to buy product and to get into and join more people and more people and more people so that's why I went into online marketing today I prefer that it's much more scalable so that's a backstory parables parables are stories about things that you can that you need to 
that helps people to relate with you right so parables he talks about what parables are I'm not going to get into that but so character he talks about character flaws you got to define your character flaws what are your what are your problems that you have that what is it that you you're not patient with yourself maybe you're perfectionist maybe you have your 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 you've you've made lots of mistakes in your in your past in your in your business building right polarity polarity is talking about something that you're passionate about that really others might not might be completely opposite to what you're thinking right there's lots of that in politics or sports or things like that you got to kind of be careful but he does talk about what that is then the identity so you got to define an identity for your attractive character there's four different general identities that he talks about he talks about the leader he talks about the adventurer or crusader he talks about the reporter or evangelist and then he talks about the reluctant hero so those four uh identities is you pick one right and you become that person and you can change over time but you know when you're first identified <coughs> that helps you to get the right uh, thing then he talks about storylines just kind of ideas I guess for different stories you can have in your um content so he talks about loss and redemption he talks about us versus them before and after and uh, amazing discoveries secret telling and third person testimonial so that's the attractive character so you use the attractive character to build uh well we actually that's in the, in the next book dot com secrets doesn't really get into that but in expert secrets we talk about how to use the attractive characters and email list and that kind of stuff okay so then uh the next part is funnel hacking so he explains what funnel hacking is in dot com secret so funnel hacking is basically the, the art if you will of figuring out what your competitors are doing online and it's it's about doing it ethically there's websites that let you put in say your competitors um a, you know a, a, a weight loss supplement and you've got a competitor you know that is really successful so you can go put <coughs> their url their web page in a in a website <coughs> that lets you um, identify where their traffic is coming from and then by having that information you can go to those sites where they have their ads and you can see whoa, what their ads look like right you can see what their ads look like where they're posting it so then you can create an ad that's similar and post it on the same site have your own your own uh, site there instead and you can also figure out what their funnels are like basically you go and buy their stuff and go through their funnel to see what their funnels are like right to see what their success is and he talks about how uh, it's important to um how it's important to 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 look at the 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 the, the ads that have been around for a long time so the longer the ads uh is live the chant the better the results are because somebody who has a failing ad won't let it go right he's going to cancel it right if it doesn't work so that's the thing so you get uh, that's another thing so then he talks about the seven phases of the funnel and he talks about follow-up funnels so that's the start that's a section number one so if you you really need to get this book get this audiobook um and go through the rest because there's he talks about the different funnels the value ladders the different the different types of funnels how they're organized where they go in your in your whole strategy he talks about you know things like leads lead funnels survey funnels submit funnels then he talks about book funnels cart funnels and challenge funnels he talks about video sales letter funnels webinar funnels product launch funnels application funnels and then he talks about scripts the the curiosity based headline scripts the who what why how scripts he talks about the star story solution scripts he talks about the one-time offer script he talks about the perfect webinar script the product launch script the four question close script and the setter and the closure script so he talks about all these different things and then he gives a good overview of uh, click funnels and you know it's it's amazing this book has taught me so much and let's you know if we look at like here's an example right product launch script right he gives you a really nice little diagram to show you how to visualize what a product launch funnel should look like um what else is there in here that's kind of interesting um he gives some really nice examples of funnels when you're trying to do funnel hacking right he talks he shows you some examples of um what you know I'm looking for a few more of my dream clients right uh the back-end phone funnels <coughs> 
uh he's got some more examples here right I mean there's a lot of stuff in the book that you don't get obviously in the audio if you get the audio um but that's that's the dot-com secrets book so the dot-com secrets that is part of the trilogy the secret trilogy the dot-com secrets you have to get a copy of this you got to learn from it because if you're trying to build a business online this is the secret this is the secret to building a business online is Russell Brunson's trilogy the secrets trilogy this is dot-com secrets the first one first edition then the new one and this is what you need to get just go ahead there's going to be a link somewhere or go to books dot click ecourse.com books dot click ecourse.com to get your copy there's going to be links for every single one of the books that you can get for free and hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time